Hello, today we're going to do Module 7, Lesson 11. Our objective is that we're going to tessellate to understand perimeter as the boundary of a shape. Now, when you hear a cool word like tessellate, that makes you curious because it makes you wonder what we're going to do. And I'm so excited because tessellate is one of my favorite words. Now, if you tessellate, you make a tessellation. A tessellation is a figure that is made by copying a shape many, many times without any gaps or overlaps. These can go on forever. So the only limit you have is the size of your paper. You can keep on going, going, going. Now, we did one tessellation on our practice page for lesson 10, just one. So check this out. The very first thing we have to know is that these are, um, this is a picture. And what I want you to know is that this is colored in, this is colored in, and this is colored in, and this is colored in, and they're exactly the same. Now, because I copied this one black square and this one green square again and again and again, I kind of made a pattern, I made a tessellation. Okay. I copied it many times. I copied the green triangle and I copied this squiggle triangle. Okay, now we're supposed to know, use what we know about perimeters to figure this out. Okay, so if this is one, this would be one, this would be one. So each one of these added up will give me what for this side? Three, right? One, two, three. If this side is one, this side is one, what side is this now if I add them up? Two. Now this is the same thing. This is one, and I add them up. This side is three. This side has two. So what will my perimeter be? My perimeter will be three plus two plus three plus two. So three plus two plus three plus two. And what does that equal? Well, this is five. This is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. So what's my perimeter? 10. 10 units because I didn't give you a measurement. Okay. Now, clear this. Let's say I add some more. I make more copies. So here's my drawing again. And I make more copies. Okay. Now I know that this is 10. So I add on another co set of copies. I copy one here, and I copy one here. This side is a squiggle, and this up here, I better get, should I get green, is a green. I have now just made another copy, made two more copies actually. So how did that change my perimeter? My perimeter for this used to be 10. Now, what is my perimeter here? I've got one, two, one, and one, and one. I don't count this because now this is on the inside. So what will I be adding? Three, four. So I'm going to add 10 plus four, and now my new perimeter is 14. Okay. Now this is the cool part about the video. Tessellations are used in so many things. You can even find them in nature. But one of my most favorite artists uses tessellations in magical ways. Next slide up. When it goes. There we go. This, whoops. <laughs> Get things caught up. Oh, I have to get the pointer. There we go. Here we are. Here it comes. There it is. Be patient. Okay. Now, this painting or drawing, I'm not sure how he did it. I need to look that into that. But they're usually black and white and gray. And it's made by Escher. So this is an Escher image. Oh, heaven's sakes, didn't pick it up. All right, play. Give me a pointer. 
Okay, so this is usually an Escher design. Now, you can get this off of the escher.com website. Here's the, here is the link that you can take and see so many different Escher drawings. Now, I love Escher. This is called Sky and Water. Now, look very carefully. Look what they did with opposites and contrast, and look what they did with the shapes. So up here I have birds. I have birds and then they magically change into fish. Wait a minute. Look carefully. What is this line in here? I'm sure I have a pencil. What is this line in here? What do you notice? Is this line right here. This is the same shape in this empty space as the fish down here. See? Now the space in between these fish, look very carefully, are actually birds. So he used, copied the same shape. Fish and birds, fish and birds, fish and birds. And he's made amazing art. So I will have some more Escher pictures for you to see in, when, we, when you come back to see me the next lesson. But I just wanted you to introduce you to one of my most favorite artists. He, he just does amazing things. It captures my imagination and my eyes. So we're gonna, we may actually do some of this in class. Okay, see you soon.